This morning, experts at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital will be providing updates about the state of respiratory illnesses that continue to impact our hospital systems here in West Michigan. 13 on your signs, Veronica Ortega joins us live in the newsroom with more. Veronica, good morning. Meredith, a so-called triple-demic cases of COVID, RSV, and the flu continues to be a big concern for hospitals, especially during the winter months as people travel and gather for the holidays. According to the CDC, after the Thanksgiving holiday, they're seeing signs that this flu season will be quite severe with cases of the coronavirus rising and RSV cases remaining high. The CDC has recorded about 8.7 million illnesses, 78,000 hospitals, hospitalizations and 4,500 deaths from the flu since October across the country. Here in West Michigan, the here in Michigan, rather, the CDC's data shows a steady increase of RSV cases over the last five weeks. The virus having a profound impact on the most vulnerable, including the elderly and young children. That is what we're seeing is those kids that we get just colds uh, with RSV uh, under one year of age, they're now actually having to come in and not only receive uh, supplemental oxygen, but some of them to the point where uh, they're unable to, to oxygenate. We would need to admit them to the intensive care unit and intubating them. COVID, the flu, and RSV share similar symptoms and may be difficult to tell apart. The Kalamazoo County Health Department uh, release this chart to help you decipher the symptoms for the flu. Symptoms can come on suddenly, but it's more gradual for the other two. Fever, cough, sore throat, runny nose, and sneezing are all common symptoms in each of the three illnesses. Loss of taste and smell is characteristic of COVID, while a headache is more common in RSV and flu patients. Meredith, health experts are urging everyone to get their flu shot and updated bivalent COVID vaccine, and they recommend staying home if you or your children are feeling sick.